good evening everyone what's happening what's going on um, welcome to another video another day today I'm going to be taking a look at my e28 and I'm gonna see if an e30 sunshade to protect my uncracked dashboard here I'm gonna check out and see if an e30 shade will actually fit in the windshield good enough um, since the E28 version made by BMW is NLA, which means no longer available. So I did see the E30 version still in production for some reason. And I saw on the forums, I think it was on myE28.com or .org, is that the E30 sunshade actually is able to cover about 97% of the windshield here. And that is essential for keeping this pristine dashboard in nice shape. As you can see here, I got very lucky while purchasing this car uh, a couple years ago from California. Um, actually, excuse me, from Portland. It did spend a number of years in California um, with the same owner who took this car all over the country with him. So um, shout out to you um, and Rita. Um, his wife. We've been sort of pen pals uh, every time they find something like a cigarette lighter, actually. Uh, they, I, they just mailed me the original unused cigarette uh, lighter here, which I'm going to um, pop that in in a few minutes. And sort of anytime they come across this stuff in storage, they send me an email and say, hey, we found this for the 533i. Do you want it? Are you interested? So that's pretty cool. So shout out to them as well. Anyway, so the purpose of today's video is to see if the E30 sunshade will cover up um, this windshield here to my satisfaction. And I'm a little bit, or a lot of bit, OCD about keeping things uh, crisp and clean and doing things the right way. So I'm not sure if this is actually going to satisfy that, that OCD. It has to be pretty darn close um, to... To stick with it so this is my public service video here to all of you e28 owners and we will uh, get this video up and see you for once and for all if the e30 sunshade will be sufficient and i was able to purchase this for about i think i paid 66 dollars which uh shipped which is not too bad so let's get started all right let's see if this will come in here is the official BMW sunshade. Here's the part number. And as always, we'll link this up in the description below. And straight from the factory, this comes with a handsome carrying case. Hmm. I don't know guys, this is looking pretty small. Could be wrong here, but let's check this out. Here's the paperwork. These are actually manufactured by a company called Covercraft. And Covercraft still makes these for the E28. I think it was $70 plus tax and shipping. Um, puts it closer to about 100 bucks. Um, but 66 is a lot cheaper than $100, so I thought I would give this a try. And besides that, who doesn't want the BMW logo on the front? If you were to buy the regular Covercraft version for the E20, which is still in production, uh, it's not going to have the BMW logo on the front. Okay, here's the moment of truth here. Okay, wow, this is definitely, this is definitely way too short. Interesting. Let's take a closer look here. As you can see, we have about three inches here of a gap on the driver's side. Rear view mirror is not too bad. And then a huge gap. This is like another three or four inches 
on the passenger side. So um, whoever said on my E28 on the forums, you said this was a 97% fit, shame on you. This is definitely not gonna work, so we'll be returning this guy, unfortunately. Or maybe I'll send it to my brother. He has an E30. Here's a look at the gap here. It's a pretty, pretty significant gap. And then again here, Let's see if this will come in. Oh, that uh, that confirms this definitely does not fit. So if you're thinking about putting an E30 sunshade into your E28, just know the windshield is substantially wider. Now while we're recording this, I may as well show you some of the other goodies that I have uh, acquired here over the last month or so. Here's a brand new uh, belly pan splash guard. And look at that, that old part sticker. Definitely don't see those anymore. This is from a long time ago. And actually, close up on here you can see there is a date, 1994. Oh, this is a new old stock belly pan. Also took the opportunity to purchase a new horsehair and rubber uh, driver seat cushion. Again, this has a super old part sticker on it. Just something that you would see, you know, back when I started getting into these cars 20 years ago. You'd see these stickers all the time. Now they're a little bit more modern. And here's some other goodies from the guys at FCP Euro. Miss those guys going down there to Milford all the time. Always have a good chat about cars and everything. Here we go. Got some Carlin um, new spark plug wires. And what's interesting is it says made in USA, but I did open the box here and take a peek. The wires actually say Bremi, Germany. So interesting there. Also on the list is a power steering return hose. And this is also uh, made in Germany, but continental, which is nice to see. New air filter by Mali, made in Austria. And the one in the car I checked is actually from 2012. So an eight year old air filter, it was time to go. Have some uh, ATF fluid for the power steering. I think this is the right stuff, but to be honest, I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna come be in a video. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope this video was helpful in some way. Uh, basically, I think we can come to the conclusion, do not buy an E30 sunshade for your E28. And um, I will continue to try and make some videos during these crazy times. And um, yeah, we're all working from home now and kind of changes the way you try to go about doing your work and doing your job. But um, I hope all of you are well and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Are you pulling on my, pulling on my microphone, monkey? Monkey denims? Oh, you wanna try driving? Here, hold on to the wheel. Good girl, you're a natural. You're a natural. Yeah. We're going to get you a used Tesla in 16 years. Yep. <laughs> Maybe an i3.